Welcome to Kids Quest from the Chattanooga Public Library with Olga and Shelley. This week we are curious about butterflies. Let's learn about these beautiful creatures and then make an amazing butterfly craft. Butterflies are insects. And when you think of butterflies, do you immediately think of flying? In fact, the word fly is in their name. But wait, before we can talk about butterflies, we have to talk about caterpillars. That's right. All butterflies were first caterpillars. And did you know caterpillars are eating machines? The caterpillar is getting ready to build a chrysalis where it will undergo an incredible change called a metamorphosis. When it emerges from the chrysalis, it has wings and has changed dramatically into a butterfly. Let's first take this time to look at the parts of the butterfly. You probably are familiar with some of the parts, but perhaps not all of them. Hopefully we can catch this butterfly when it is not too busy fluttering. Now we can look. There is its head, an eye, the antenna. The top wing is the forewing. The bottom is the hind wing. There is a wing vein, the abdomen, and the thorax. But let's look at those eyes closely. Did you know that butterflies have compound eyes, which is sort of like having many eye units? Another way butterflies are different than humans is that they have six legs and they can taste with their feet. Look at that mouth. Butterflies suck up nectar through their straw-like mouth called proboscis. That is completely different than when it was a munching caterpillar. So amazing! Butterflies prefer to find flowers with enough surface to land on. As they travel, they take pollen from flower to flower, making butterflies great pollinators. We should make a fabulous butterfly to celebrate them. This craft will use a painting technique called marbling. It will make the most amazing color effect perfect for making a butterfly. Here is what you will need. Markers, glue, scissors, white cardstock, but white construction paper will work too. Shaving cream, a craft stick, any color will do. Some kind of stick or utensil to stir with. A pencil, a piece of cardboard. Finally, watercolor paint or you can use food coloring and some kind of shallow container. Take your shaving cream, use the white kind, not the gel, and make a layer in your container. Now it is time to drop different colors of watercolor paint onto the shaving cream. Think about the combination of colors you want for your butterfly wings. Take a stick to blend the colors Go in different directions, but don't swirl too much. Place the paper on top and press down. Carefully pull it up and place your paper on a flat surface. Take a piece of cardboard to scrape off the shaving cream. You might need more than one piece of cardboard because there is a lot of shaving cream. Now be patient. You will need to let your paper dry completely. I made one earlier, so let's use it. Grab a pencil, fold the paper in half, and draw half of a butterfly shape with the fold in the middle. Cut out. This makes the wings symmetrical. Decorate the craft stick like the body and glue onto the wings. We love butterflies, and thank you for being curious.